Hi, I'm Alison Fennell, the Pottery and Artist, and welcome to the first Watercolour Weekender. The Watercolour Weekender is for people who want to go a bit deeper with their painting and take a little bit more time with it. In this first episode, we're going to paint these gorgeous underwater seals. We'll be covering four techniques to get your teeth into and hone your skills. I'll be taking you through every step you need in order to get this beautiful painting underway. In this trailer I'm just going to give you the basic outline of the process to whet your appetite. I'll be showing you things like how to do granulated glazes in order to make the most of cold pressed paper where we can get lovely pigment variations and an underwater feel. Then we'll be doing individual paintings of the seals and we'll be extruding them from the background. We'll be using controlled wet and to wet for individual elements of the painting and you'll see what colours I mix and how, how I mix them so that you'll be sure to have really good guidance all the way through. In order to access this tutorial in full, I ask that you make a minimum donation of £4 and for that you get the full tutorial which contains two full length videos. Then you'll also get the downloadable essential outline, grayscale and colour reference images that you see me using in the video. Plus you're going to get entry to a fellow online artist gallery where you can upload your work, share and chat with other people too. In order to access this first tutorial pack, just click the link in the video description below and follow the instructions. Thank you so much. So let's get on with our outline. In order to paint these lovely seals, I've soaked one seal completely and now I'm adding big washes of general colour of the seal in this controlled wet into wet technique. Here I'm paying a lot of attention to the outline and just filling in rich colour and letting it bleed in different directions in order to en enhance that granulated effect which adds to the underwater look of the painting. In this tutorial you'll be letting the medium do it, letting watercolour have its full head and give us all those lovely effects it produces. We'll be mixing beautifully strong complementaries such as these blues and greens in order to get 3D effect on the body of the seal. If you've ever wanted to paint that gorgeous, taut, shiny, slippery skin of the seal, this tutorial will show you one way of doing it. The skills taught in this tutorial are transferable too and similar subjects could be done using the same techniques such as dolphins, whales and any other watercolour creatures. This tutorial is really about water and letting it have its head. This tutorial uses the thirsty brush technique a lot in order to wipe out light struck areas of the seal and to start forming his body. 
you'll become adept at carving out the shapes with your thirsty brush. Another thing I should say is if you buy this tutorial from me, there will be no adverts in it. It'll just be running straight through and you can pause, fast forward re and rewind to suit yourself. Blending in watercolour is notoriously difficult and this tutorial really shows you lots of different ways of blending watercolour across the surface of a skiss seal's body. Now we start work on the foreground seal and he's going to be in a lot sharper detail and he's obviously larger. He occupies the bottom right hand corner of this composition. As you can see I'm using the grayscale image which you will get if you pay for this tutorial and it's a really good roadmap to see where the lights, mid-tones and darks are situated on the seal. This makes carving out his face really easy. I create these grayscales myself in order to give you a better chance at creating these tutorials in watercolour. So I hope you've enjoyed this preview and that you're all geared up to paint these gorgeous seals in watercolour. If you'd like to do so, please click the link in the description below and enjoy the tutorial.
Thanks for watching. Bye for now.